Hello, welcome back. I try to finish my upload so I can get back to my bed. I did test my steam engine today. It did work well. It's much more powerful and shaking. But that's all the Wilesco D20. But the boiler is much bigger. This one is a D16. The boiler is uh, 250 milliliters, and I did move the steam fluid from there to there. I have the safety valve is off <coughs> because I like to get uh, the water fume out. That's the water valve. That's where you adding oil down here. Let's look what's going on in uh, Oregon. It's uh, 6.30 Denmark, so it's sunset. I'm not start to read Oregon and I need few videos. <coughs> um, I need few steam locomotive videos. I'm going to put this uh, once back. So what did finish eating my food and the dish was a bit so let's open uh, the web page the train mountain Let's see what's going on there. So the power on the camp corner is low. We have the news in uh, five minutes. Danish evening news. Actually, like to watch it. Because so much is going on in the world. So it's 9, 9.23, so let's uh, write uh, 9, 9.25. Nine twenty five AM Yes, let's have a look. So we got few uh, cars there. Let's look at the workshop. No, nobody's there, no cars, the gate is closed, but it's only, it's, uh, it's not even uh, 9.30. And I think the spring is very low, we still got snow. We still have snow on the ground. And there. If the weather was a little bit warmer, this snow would uh, melting. So I think there must be a little cold in the night. Because if not, uh, this snow will be, be smelting. If the day was a little bit hotter, this snow will not be there. So I think that's freezing cold in the night. It's cold in the night and a little bit warmer in the day. Yes, but now I know 
much more about train mountain railroads. I think think that's maybe snow. That's almost gone. But when we still got this snow, this snow can it can snow in the night. If it's raining and the temperature drops in the night, it could start to snow again. So nobody is unloading the trains. It's Thursday, it's Eastern, it's Thursday. But North America, that's really big, and even you live there, if you like, live in like Los Angeles or, or San Francisco, you not just drive up here. If you're living like uh, Las Vegas, or you will have to drive like a whole 20 hours. You not just drive up here because uh, the distance is so big. You got that, call the thing, they call it RV, they got something you can sleep in. <clears throat> a camper, camper van. Oh, the distance is so big, you not just drive up here. Even you live in the same country, they could come from like Nevada, Texas, super far away, Houston, or even uh, Los Angeles. If you live in Los Angeles, you not just drive up here just for fun that will uh, cost you a lot of money in a uh, few but you have the interstate the interstate 5 go up north I think the interstate 5 you can find uh, all the way down to Los Angeles you can drive from interstate so I could uh, fly to Los Angeles too, of course, and then I could uh, rent a car like three weeks and then drive from Los Angeles up to to uh, Klamath Falls. That's just uh, the Interstate 5 north and then this city called uh, Wheat, You're turning to the right, this uh, Highway 97, then you will ending in uh, Klamath Falls and then Chiloquin, Chiloquin. Then you can sleep at this hotel at the Clamoya Casino, the Sleep In Motel. But I will need to have like more than $200 every day in pocket money if I should go to the United States. I should be like here. Uh, 20 days uh, that's $200 10, that's $4,000 I will need like $5,000 in pocket money and uh, my credit cards then I will use my credit cards before I'm spending uh, have this Mastercard credit I will uh, spend the money some money on my credit cards and then saving my money in the bank in my bank in Denmark so I still have my money in the bank because if something happen I will still have my money in, on my Danish bank account but then I will just <coughs> spend the money from my Mastercard credit I could do something like this And I need the money for airplane tickets back to Denmark. At least $200 every day I'm traveling. Two or $300. Then uh, I need like $2,000 for airplane ticket back. So nobody is here. Watch Danish news. Take a break, and then I can watch watch again a little bit later. Let's do that.